RV snap pads, Anderson jack blocks. Who wins out? Which one is better? What should you be using underneath your RV on your jacks? The snap pads or the Anderson jack box? Or maybe both. So stick around because I'm going to break it all down for you. Hey guys, welcome back to Why Wait. I'm Chris. And today I'm coming to you from, well, a tugboat. A lot of you who follow my channel may already know this, but I do two weeks out at sea on a tugboat, and then I do two weeks at home. So I fly back and forth, that's what allows us to full-time RV. So in case you're wondering what this interesting looking background is, I'm coming to you from the wheelhouse of my tugboat today. Uh, filming can be a little bit hard when you have a two weeks on, two weeks off schedule. Sometimes I can't get it all done at home when I'm at the RV. So today I have to do some of it here. So just so you know, that's what's going on here. But today I wanna to talk to you about the RV snap pads. Now, most of you guys probably already know all about RV snap pads. So the company reached out to me a little while ago and they wanted me to try out their product. And I told them, like most of you guys probably already know what the product is, that I knew what it was and you know I was interested in them, but we had always used the Anderson Jack blocks. That's just what we've had. It's what we've liked and we've had them since day one. They came with my RV. And I kind of told them why we like them, why we have them, but I'd still be willing to try out the RV snap pad and, and give them my honest opinion and let my viewers know what I thought about them and kind of compare the two of them. When I told them that, they actually told me about a product I didn't know, this right here. And I thought this was pretty interesting because this kind of works hand in hand with uh, the Anderson Jack blocks. And I will say this right here is not the typical RV snap pad that you may be thinking of. This is a little something a little bit different that is pretty interesting that I found out it's a pretty cool idea. But let's go ahead and touch base on the original RV snap pad. And just for some of you guys out there who don't know, just briefly go over what it is, what it does, pros and cons. So in case you don't know what the RV snap pad is, it's basically just a heavy duty rubber foot that attaches to the bottom of your jack pad. And it's gonna permanently stay on there. It'll retract with your jacks and stay on while you're traveling. And the whole idea of this is it gives you a wider footprint. It's gonna make your RV a little bit more stable. It's going to give you that rubber footing to keep things from sliding and moving around a little bit. And it's a great product. As you can see, it's easy to install. You basically just put some dish soap around the bottom of it here, line it up, go ahead and lower your jacks down, and it's going to just pop on. And once it pops on, it pretty much stays on. Of course, you can take them off. It is a little bit difficult, so it's not like it's permanent, permanent. But what it does is it just allows people to have that nice wider footprint when you're on gravel or grass to kind of reduce sinking down into the mud and just give you a little bit more traction when you're on a concrete pad and things like that. And so it's basically just going to add stability. It will conform to uneven surfaces and it's just going to basically dampen the vibrations as you're walking around inside the RV. And again, they only take minutes to install. Once they're on, they're on. You don't have to worry about storing them, taking them off. You don't have to worry about plastic leveling blocks and things like that, so you're good to go. Now, we've been using the Anderson Jack Blocks, and what I like about the Anderson Jack Blocks is it reduces how far your leg has to be extended. And we did a whole video on this to kind of basically reduce the shaking and movement inside of your RV, because with the Anderson Jack Block being about this high, now it means my leg is only extended about this far. The less leg you have extended underneath your camper, the less wobble and play you're going to have. So that's one reason we just really like the Anderson Jack Blocks. So we've been using those for four years. And again, if you want to check out more information on those, you can go watch this video where we break it down and talk all about those. So when RV Snap Pad went ahead and contacted us, we told them we'd been using that. And when we were talking, they said, well, we got a great product for you. And that's when they introduced me to this. This is called the RV Base and it's an extremely thick, heavy-duty rubber base that actually goes underneath the Anderson buckets. Why is this important? Well, like many of you may also know, the Anderson buckets are known to crack once in a while. We've actually had it happen twice over four years. It usually happens on a gravel surface. It's not a big deal. It's usually just the bottom of the rim that cracks from the weight pushing down into the uneven gravel surface. And they are a lifetime warranty company. Basically you buy them, they immediately ship us one out like the next day, no questions asked, just send them a picture. And we've done that twice, we've been really happy with them. But I started actually trying to fix this problem and I started using about a quarter inch piece of thick rubber to put underneath my Anderson buckets to keep uh, the gravel from possibly making them crack again. And as you can see right here, well, that rubber just does not hold up over time. And this is a pretty heavy duty rubber tube that I got at Lowe's and I thought for sure this would be fine. 
but even that weight over time has cut into that rubber and damaged it. And we've actually even had issues when we've camped on a grass surface for a long period of time and we've had excessive rain, we've had the Anderson bucket actually start to sink into the grass a little bit. So with this product from RV Snap Pad, the RV Base, this actually fits perfectly and custom made basically from Anderson bucket. So all you do is throw this on the ground first and as your jacks come down, the Anderson bucket attached, it fits and pops right into place perfectly on this heavy duty thick RV base. Now we don't have to worry about the Anderson jacks breaking. It also reduces our shaking as well because now there's even less leg extended. This is a wider footprint for grass surfaces. And now we also have that rubber base to dampen any vibrations that you may still get from the plastic Anderson buckets. So I thought that was a really cool idea. They sent me a couple of those and we've been using those and been extremely happy with them. I've had them underneath my Anderson buckets for a few months now. They don't seem to show any sign of wear, tear, or ripping, or anything like that. And by the way, if you're interested in any of the RV Snapchat products that we're talking about today, we do have a link in the video description below. And if you use our promo code YWEIGHT, you will get 10% off of any product from RV Snap Pad, so don't miss out on that. If you haven't you've been using the RV Snap Pads, or if you have the Anderson uh, buckets like we do, or any other kind of jack block, and you want to get that thick rubber base, and you want to check out the RV base from RV Snap Pad Company, again, use that code uh, YWEIGHT and you get 10% off anything. So, what do I prefer after using both the RV Snap Pads with Anderson buckets? Well, how about a combination of both, to be honest with you? I still prefer the Anderson bucket to reduce the length of my leg, but I love the RV base that goes underneath that. And I still think the RV Snap Pad, the original RV Snap Pad, is a great product as well. It's just something that I, as a full-time RVer, I still like to have that base of that Anderson bucket to reduce my legs. But if I was maybe just a weekender or something like that, I think I would probably just travel with the RV Snap Pads permanently attached to the base of my jacks because then you're also not carrying around and transporting the four or six Anderson buckets, which can take up a lot of space and be a little cumbersome. But for us, because we're stationary most of the time, so most of the time the Anderson buckets are just, well, underneath my RV where they need to be. So I don't have to worry about storing them or like tons of travel days, moving them in and out. But you gotta pick what's right for you. I think both products are great. I love the RV Snap Pad. Had no problem when we were using them and we traveled and set it up a few times and we're good to go. They stayed on, no issues going down the road or falling off or anything like that. But in the long run, I think we're going to use a combination of both and stick with the Anderson bucket, but we're going to definitely mix it in with this RV base pad right here. Because again, that just is going to ensure that the Anderson bucket will not be cracking anymore, give us even more stability and give us even more of a larger footprint, which is great for these heavy RVs and the shaking inside of them. So again, I know many of you know about the RV Snap Pad. You've seen them in all the campgrounds. I'm sure you've heard of it by now, but you may not know about the RV base. And that's a pretty cool thing that I didn't know about. And as a user of the Anderson Buckets for so long, I thought that was a pretty cool product. And I think we're going to love using that for an extended period of time. You guys, you got to choose what's right for you. Um, there's pros and cons that come with everything. And you just got to pick what works your RV lifestyle the best. And as always, guys, get out there and start your full-time RV lifestyle because why wait? We'll see you guys next week.